Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to sell bear call spreads and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A bear call spread, also known as the call credit spread, is a strategy that involves selling a call option for which the seller will receive a premium and buying a call option with a higher strike price for which the investor will pay a premium. The difference results in a net credit, which is why it's called a credit spread. Investors can profit from a moderately bearish outlook on the underlying asset while limiting potential losses. When selling a bear call spread, your goal is for the short call to expire unassigned or worthless, resulting in maximum profit. A bear call trade reaches its maximum loss condition if the underlying price ends above the long call strike at expiration. Let's say you're looking for bear call spreads to sell. Bar Chart's platform allows you to scan the market for opportunities to help you maximize your profits. Bar Chart's option screener allows you to screen the entire market for bear call spreads with just a few clicks. Let's get started. If you aren't already there, let's head on over to barchart.com and click on options at the top. Once there, click on bear call credit spread. You'll immediately get a results page detailing some potential bear call trades. This page gives you the most important information that you'll need to get started on the trade, including strike prices for the trade legs, the break even price, maximum profit, and most importantly, the out of the money probabilities. Since you'll hit a maximum profit when the short call expires worthless or out of the money, out of the money or OTM probabilities are my favorite metric to look at or at least pay attention to. You can also customize your screens by clicking the set filters tab and then picking or selecting from dozens of choices. As you can see, the default filters are already populated and enough for most investors. But if you want to use your own filters instead, well, you can also add them. So I'll start by deleting what I don't need. I'm going to leave OTM probabilities, days to expiration, exchange, and security type. Now let's talk about probabilities. As I mentioned earlier, since bear calls profit when the short option expires worthless, I suggest focusing on the out of the money probability. OTM probability represents the estimated chance that the trade will expire worthless, which is the goal of selling bear calls. Higher OTM probabilities usually mean lower premiums, while lower probabilities can result in higher profits. So for this trade, I'll enter 80 so that I get trades with an 80% chance or higher that they'll expire worthless. I'll also check the weekly box to ensure that I get weekly options. And I'll set days to expiration from 30 to 60 days out. This ensures that I'll have enough time to adjust my trade if I need to down the line. And the rest of the filters, they're fine. I'll leave them be. So now I can click see results. And here we go. We have a list of results that match our search filters. You can also click on any of the headlines. For example, if you click on the OTM prob column header, it'll arrange the list from highest to lowest probability. Also, note the maximum profit, maximum loss, risk reward percentage, and break even probability. The risk reward percentage shows us the ratio between loss and profit. Break even, or BE probability, shows you the chance of the trade ending below the break even point where it will start to gain profit. Depending on your trading style, this could be valuable information. You can also hit Save Screener to save your filters so you can use it for another day and even have Bar Chart email you a list of trades that match the filters every single day. 
So that's it for as an example of personalizing a market screen for a bear call. But what if you wanted to search for bear calls for a specific company or ETF? Well, let me show you how. If you'd like to search for bear call trades with a specific underlying asset in mind, you can start at the assets page on barchart.com. Let's say you think that Tesla's had a big run up and prices will likely move sideways or down in the short term. In that case, you could sell a bear call spread. To screen for bear calls on Tesla, go to its assets page by typing in Tesla in the search box and then click on the company name. Then scroll to the left side of the screen where it says options. From there, click on vertical spreads and then click on the bear call tab. Again, you'll be immediately presented with a results page. The first thing that you want to pay attention to is the expiration date. Look for trades that expire about a month or two away so that you have time to adjust if necessary. So let's click on the expiration date drop down and pick one. For this video, I'm going to select August 16, but it can be any expiration you like. And so now we have our first results. Now, many of these options are already in the money. And technically, they're fine to sell, but since they're already in the money, they could be assigned, and I prefer to sell out of the money bear calls with a large chance of them expiring worthless. So to do that, I'll click the screen link and then add a filter. As we want to sell out of the money bear calls, I'll go ahead and add a moneyness filter right here. Speaking of moneyness, the most important filter on this list is OTM probability. And like before, I'll enter 80% in this example. This means that results will all have an 80% chance or more of expiring out of the money. I'll also set moneyness on leg one to be OTM or out of the money. By default, it gives me results that are 25 to 5% out of the money, and for this, that's perfectly fine. Now I'll click See Results. Okay, so on this page, we now have all the results that match the filters. Like before, you can save your screener to reuse it at a later time. You can also sort this listing based on the headlines here at the top and then pick the one that works best for you. For me, in this example, Tesla's current stock price is $241.20 and it had a recent run up. So I think that we want to go high with the first leg. So in this case, I'm going to pick the $270 strike call expiring August 16th for a credit of $13.50. And in this trade example, you'd also buy the $295 strike for a cost of $8.20. And the difference between what you received for the short call and what you paid for the long call is your credit. And of course, multiply that for by 100 for every bear call you sell, and that works out to $530 per contract. And on this trade, there's an 81.77% chance that the short call will expire out of the money, which is what you want. Ultimately, though, this trade will either expire in or out of the money. So let's review both scenarios. Fast forward to the expiration date, and let's say Tesla stock currently trades for $200. Since it's lower than your $270 strike price, both options expire worthless, and the options will eventually drop from your account. And this trade will have hit its maximum profit condition. On the other hand, if Tesla stock's trading price exceeds the $295 long call strike at or before expiration, well, the bear call enters its maximum loss condition, which is $1,970. And to calculate the maximum loss, we'll take the width of the spread um, minus the premium received multiplied by 100.
Now you might say that $1,970 is a lot to risk, but remember, there's a more than 80% chance the trade will expire out of the money. Also, you can always sell bear calls with less capital at risk by picking strikes that are closer together. Here's a table detailing the profits and losses at different price points. As you can see, as Tesla's stock trading price moves up or down, you'll ultimately end up with a profit or a loss. The maximum profit happens as long as Tesla stays below $270. But if Tesla stock starts to trade above the break-even point, this trade will start to incur a loss. A bear call's break-even point is calculated by adding the premium received to the short call strike price. As you can see, you'll make money on this trade as long as Tesla trades at or below $275.30 at expiration. If Tesla trades above the break-even, you'll now start to incur losses, up until the $295 long call strike, at which point you'll hit the maximum loss of $19.70 a share, or $1,970 per contract. The biggest advantage to selling bear call spreads is the ability to sell options with a small account, because the capital required is usually only the maximum loss amount, which in this case was $1,970. Investors can also earn a premium selling bear calls with limited and defined downside risk. And finally, this strategy can be profitable in a neutral or slightly bearish market, allowing investors to benefit from time decay. However, there are some drawbacks to consider. The bear call spread has limited upside potential, meaning the profit is capped at the net premium received, and if the underlying price trades above the long strike price, the investor will experience a maximum loss condition. Bear call spreads are generally a safe way to earn premiums during moderate to bearish markets. But as they say, there's no free lunch on Wall Street, and there's always risks in trading. Thankfully, you can improve your odds by using Bar Chart's Options Screener and supplement your trading knowledge through the Bar Chart Option Learning Center.